Yeah, yeah. Good morning. This is uh, Idris Goodwin, the director of the Fine Arts Center at Colorado College. And I'm Ryan Benegali. I am director of performing arts for Colorado College. And we are very excited to announce the winners of the 3x3 project, the, the first annual inaugural 3x3 project. Um, it's very exciting, is it not, Ryan Benegali? It is. These creative collaborations from isolation. Uh, I'm so thrilled uh, about the response that we've had and really even more excited to share with everyone today the winners. Yeah, and really quickly, just some background. Uh, the three by three projects were, uh, were was initiated in response to you know the crisis that we're all um, weathering our way through, and so it was conceived very quickly when our our two entities uh, came together and dreamed this up, and uh, and so as a result, artists from across Colorado and New Mexico uh, quickly put together really exciting applications, and the response was really exciting and unfortunately um, there were, you know there were way more than we could possibly fund uh, but the good news is that this is already something we're so excited about that our hope and our goal is to be able to do this uh, regularly because there's some great artists in our region. There really are I mean the, the, the depth and breadth of the different types of projects that are reflecting on the places that we live here in the Rocky Mountain West and the American Southwest uh, was really inspiring and there's a lot more to come even beyond these seven wonderful projects that we're going to share today all right so let's get into it these are what you're going to hear you're going to hear the mm -hmm. names of seven different groups of three or more artists from different disciplines visual performing literary all the gray areas in between working from their own isolated places uh, virtually and they're gonna create work that we will premiere on um, FAC Connect, which is the digital channel, digital platform uh, for the Colorado Springs Fine Arts Center at Colorado College. All right, let's get to it. Do it. All right, project number one, Healing, Reconciliation, and the Taos Santo Story. The creative team is Jessica Kokushka, Anita Rodriguez, and Miguel Gander. Yeah, and congratulations. This is a, a multidisciplinary collaboration that imagines a cruelty-free future for the Taylor Museum Santos Collection. It aims to decolonize the preservation, curation, and the display or non-display of sacred objects to dialogue democratically with the communities to whom said objects have religious significance to, promose, to propose concrete steps to reconcile past harms and imagine future exchanges and share these concepts with the public. So the collaborative manifesto explores possibilities for simultaneously recontextualizing the past and reimagining the future care for the Santos collection, centering on its creators and their descendants as makers and negotiators of its own meaning. Congratulations. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, congratulations. Can't wait. Uh, all right, let's keep this thing moving. Next group. Campfire Draw Alongs. Creative team is Donald Fodness, Michael Bernhardt, and Barry Whitaker. Yeah, congratulations. congratulations. Oh. And these guys go by the DMB Collective off their first initials, and they're seeking to provide a public service oriented act as a beacon of hope in these troubled times. By drawing on the rich visual and oral traditions of the American West and Southwest, the DMB endeavor to honor, reflect, confuse, and resist the romanticized stereotypes of this region through the ubiquitous technologies we now rely on for connection. They will share descriptions of iconic images, suggestive of cowboy poetry spoken by an open campfire, creating an ambiance saturated with the smell of smoke and beans. And from what I understand, they're gonna be creating a series of videos talking about the history of the region at the same time as they draw and paint and create and people can draw alongside them. Let's go, congratulations. All right, let's keep it moving. Number three, honoring our hoods, the poetic photographic journey of indigenous and POC medicines. Creative team, Jessica Helen Lopez, Bobby Lefebri, and Mariah Bottomley. Congratulations. <laughs> So this is a cross collaboration between New Mexico and Colorado writers, poets, and a photographer that will aim to uplift our people, homes, neighborhoods, pueblos, urban gardens, communities at large, the distinct topography and geographies that we have come from and the sister cities that we belong through, through epistratic writing and visual imagery. 
The project, the project will culminate in an online photographic exhibit accompanied by the writings of two poet laureates that represent Albuquerque and Denver. Our collaboration, or their collaboration, consists of the elements of healing, celebrating our varied cultural identities, and the enduring legacy of art in times of isolation that work to bring people together through the lens of medical storytelling. Woo woo! Excellent. All right, next up, Querfano. Kevin Quinn Marchman, Fa'al Ali, and Shotzi Portillo Moody. Congratulations. Wonderful, excellent. Querfano. Querfano. So this is a case study and a love letter to a place both fascinating and incomprehensible. The Sangre de Cristo Mountains and the surrounding plains and valleys hold centuries of history and the magic most people only glance at from their car windows. So this project uh, seeks to take a step closer than arm's length to the land and the stories that we barely know exist. Come on. All right, congratulations, y'all. Next up, I think I'm saying this correctly, Indigenous Futurities. Indigenous Futurities, Dancing Earth in Cyberspace. Yeah. That is Rulon Tanjin, uh, Kitsal Guerrero, and Ian Garrett, along with many additional collaborators. This is a big group, which is extremely exciting. So in Digital Futurities is a, a group of in, international indigenous cultural collaborators that are gonna breathe new life into ancestral creation stories like star maps to guide the future, emerging from the destructive centuries of oppressive colonial systems and disease to remake the world. Meeting in the liminal space between is an opportunity to relate to cyberspace as a realm of indigenous liberation with the power to into Inuit deep connections, activate reciprocal relations, and reimagine the future. Mm, let's go. We still got two more. Two I'm, more. Already, I'm already like that. All right, here, you know, <laughs> all right, here we go. Rocky Mountain Locust Creative Team, Buntport Theater Company, Emily Swank and Adam Stone. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Um, Buntport Theater Company you know, is known for its, its quirky creati creativity. And what they're gonna create here is a video looking at the 1875 swarm of Rocky Mountain locusts that examines the parallels, both literal and metaphorical, to our current situation, including how certain conditions can cause solitary, chill grasshoppers to morph into a crop-destroying crowd of locusts. It will serve as a companion piece to the live drive-in style play that their front port is developing to perform on their front lawn. Great. All right, next up, our final group. Tethered Mountains, creative team, Sue Kaden Cho, Jasmine Dillavu, and Jimmy Gable. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, Tethered Mountains is a performance that's layered with a contemporary dance and record recorded poem spoken from two different cultural perspectives in two different languages. The poem ties the concept of migration, mountain movement, and the Wild West uh, prospects to its contemporary counterpart of the cultural movement. Yay. So that's it. Right. Our seven projects. That is our seven. Congratulations, all you artists. We're so excited and we're so um, honored that you um, are, you know, uh, inaugural collaborating. Group. Inaugural group. Yeah. Yeah, that, we, that you are collaborating with us. Um, this is exactly the kind of work um, that, that we are about at, at the Fine Arts Center and certainly the sort of work that we want mm -hmm. you know, our student population to be engaged with and our communities to be engaged with. So, you know, we're all about growing our family, not just of patrons, members and students, but of audience and artists. Um, and so this is a wonderful convergence. And so I couldn't be more excited uh, that, this is, that this is going down. And here's the good news is that anyone watching this anyone anywhere will have access to these projects uh, once they're completed because they will be on you know on the in the in the digital virtual sphere which means they can go anywhere on this planet and who knows even beyond beyond into the future and these projects um, a lot of them are, are, what we're particularly excited about a lot of these projects is that they will not just live and be on this FAC connect space but there's an interactivity to a lot of them a connectivity and an opportunity to have this ripple effect of creativity 
um, out and about, like you said, beyond our local, local area, out into the state, out into the country, out into the world, and out into the universe. So, all right. wonderfully exciting group. I'm, I'm thrilled that, they, that we're able to have all these different connections right now. It's really important. And I uh, really look forward to seeing these roll out over the course of the summer. All right. Yes, yes. All right, y'all. Stay tuned in. Congratulations. And stay safe out there. We'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.